Hi, it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today, where we are going to explore a shape that you are probably already familiar with, especially if you've done horseback riding or looked at architecture or had a snack out of a canister that looks like this. It's referred to as a saddle shape, and I've got a little model here that I threw together out of some toothpicks. It's a hyperbolic parabola, and we are going to make a model of one today and take a look at some of the attributes. So come on, and I will show you what we need to make it. So we are going to use a ruler, some bamboo skewers, We'll also need a quick drying glue. I've got a glue gun. If you have a different form of quick drying glue, that might be better. The glue gun gets a little messy. And I've got a pencil. I have already glued the base together in triangles. Then I laid these two on top to get the same shape and I glued them together. What I'm going to do now is stand those two up on here and glue on this third piece. So let's just put the glue there and bring them all together. And then we want to glue these pieces to the base. And because the glue can take a little bit of time. We're going to move on to the next step right away. I'm going to make a line every inch on this front piece and then do the same on this back piece. And to make it easier to do that, I just flip the whole thing around as I did that. So that's actually the front that I already made the marks on. That's the back. Basically what we have here is a shape that's got triangle face there, a triangle face there, a triangle face there, and then the base is also a triangle. So let's put that back the way it was. We're going to use the ruler again in a minute. What we're going to do now is use the glue and attach the bamboo skewers to connect each of these lines on this skewer with the line on that skewer. So let's get started with that. So there is a drop of glue. And the biggest problem I've found with the hot glue gun is that it doesn't really want to dry fast enough to work this quickly. So basically, while I want to go faster, I need to just slow down and do this at the glue's pace. And because this can get a little messy, I've just got this cardboard here to work with. And when I attach these, I like to try to make them so there's an even amount of overhang on this side and on this side. Another drop. I am going to keep attaching the bamboo skewers. And I'll be back when I have that side finished. I am gluing my last skewer on. We 
we are going to draw one inch marks on two of the sides again and from that we are going to add the skewers. So if you look at this model that I have, you'll see that it's going to need, the side we choose is going to need for the skewers to lay right on it. So let's see where that would actually work best. And sometimes it takes a couple minutes to realize which side you need to use. Because one side just isn't going to work at all. I think it's this side. So on this one and on this one, I'm going to draw those one inch marks again. So there is my last mark on that side and remember I said I would be going from this one this one over to this one I believe so it's this one I need to make the marks on next Sometimes the challenge is figuring out which side you're going to use next. This side can get a little tricky when you're gluing because with all that's going on, and the curving that it's going around, it doesn't always like to stick. So especially on this side, I would say patience is greatly needed. And because I'm sure you don't want to sit and just watch glue dry, I'm going to get the rest of these glued on and then we'll be back. So I am still gluing I just don't want to pause you for too long or I will lose you. Let's just take a couple minutes or let's just take a brief section to notice some things about the hyperbolic parabola as we are building it. So it's made of parallel structural elements and there isn't a central axis. So they don't all meet in the center somewhere. What I've done as I've been able to is sometimes the glue just doesn't like to dry quickly. So if I can get a little clip on there to help me hold it, I've been doing that. So a drop of glue, a drop of glue there, and let's attach. So that should not take very long to dry. And there we are. So we've got that finished parabola. I did get, I did clean up some of the threads that I'm picking off additional ones just by using a blow dryer on the hot setting. What we're going to do now is, well, let me just say that if you wanted to leave your model of a hyperbolic parabola as it is, you certainly could. We've got the framework there and there. If you want, you can remove these extra pieces. So I'm going to twist 
this top one and then I'm going to twist this one as well and there is our finished model so let's just take a look at it from a couple different directions so we can get a feel for how it looks. There from the top, from the side, so you can see it looks, you can definitely see the saddle shape there. Here are a couple things that I notice. It has parallel structural elements going in two different directions. They don't ever intersect, so there's no central axis of the hyperbolic parabola. Cool thing about the hyperbolic parabola is that it gets its strength and durability from the structure and it's highly resistant to cracking. The shape of it and the curvature helps reduce the tendency to buckle under compression. So it forms a really sturdy structure. I hope that you've enjoyed building our model of the hyperbolic parabola and getting a feel for what it's like and taking a look at it and getting a feel for some of its attributes. I hope you give it a try and that you will join us again next time when we explore more in the world of science, technology, engineering, and math, and that you continue to explore your world. And thank you.